So Google's fresh new Pixel 6 smartphones are absolutely stuffed with cunning new features. Some of them baked into Android 12 and some of them Pixel exclusives that you won't see on other Android smartphones. Now I've used both the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro model as my full-time smartphone, really got to grips with them. So here's my pick of some of the best features you'll find in there, including a few that are sort of hidden away that you might not otherwise know about. So that's enough banging on. Here's my full Pixel 6 tips guide. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. Now, first up, Android 12 will immediately appear familiar to any long-standing Android fans, but Google has changed up the design and aesthetic somewhat. This is most evident in the fresh new notifications panel, although it's still got the same sort of vibe. Lots of fast access toggles to some of your favorite features. You can actually change that up by tapping the little pencil icon and then dragging icons either out if you don't want them anymore or in if you fancy a bit of that. You could also customize your desktops by long pressing on any spare bit of background and then tapping wallpaper and style. In here you can unsurprisingly change up the wallpaper, but you could also change up the font coloration as well. You can either have it based on the actual wallpaper theme and otherwise you can choose from a selection of basic colors. You've also got the fresh new themed icons feature tucked away in here as well, which is apparently still in beta, but I didn't notice any jankiness. And this changes the design of Google's app icons as well, like so YouTube, Maps, etc. So it matches that color theme that you just selected. And this style definitely takes a little bit of getting used to because at first glance, all the icons kind of look very similar with the same palette and everything. But I've definitely grown to love the themed icons. You can actually change up the color of those icons as well, just as you can with the fonts here in the, uh, the color theming. And of course, as usual, on the Pixel 6 smartphones, you've got Google's at a glance uh, widget stuck away up here at the top. You can easily customize this by pressing on it like so, and then just tapping this cog icon next to at a glance and then configure it so it only delivers the most pertinent information to you. Uh, quite handy if you do do a lot of traveling, things like that, you can get all of that information slapped there on the front screen. And don't forget to set up your lock screen as well by heading to display, and then it's just the lock screen option in there. If you want that always on display, then just toggle the always show time and info option, so that's on. This could also give you a heads up for any notifications that are demanding your attention. You could also check out what music is playing in your general vicinity, and you'll also find the tap and lift to wake phone options in here as well. And diving back into the Pixel 6 settings, one area that is definitely worth checking out is if you go down to System and then tap on Gestures. You find all kinds of great little tools packed away in here, including the ability to quickly load up the camera app with a double push of that power button. And one feature that I found particularly handy, now that the Pixel 6 smartphones aren't quite as dinky and lovably compact as they used to be, is the one-handed mode. This is very easy to activate, basically just swipe down at the very bottom edge of the screen, as you can see there, and it just drags everything down towards the bottom. Definitely handy if you're trying to reach up to, the, for instance, the search bar here on Netflix. And it even works here on the desktops as well, in case you're absolutely flooded the, uh, the page with icons, you can't reach up to the ones at the top. Now, one of the best things about Android 12 is it's absolutely stuffed with fresh new privacy and security features that will help to clear you in if anything is not quite what it should be. So for instance, if you're worrying about any of your apps or your smartphone spying on you at any point, well, great news is that you will be instantly alerted anytime an app is using the camera and the mic. As you can see, a little icon flashes up top. And then you'll notice there's a little green dot up in that top right corner, which stays there as long as the camera and mic are still in play. If you notice that top, you've got no idea what's going on. Well, just drag down the notifications bar and just give that icon a little tap and it'll tell you exactly what is being used and by what. And then if you give this a tap, it can give you all of the information you'll need, including exactly when it was last accessed. And if you're going to be indulging in some sort of activity where you 100% do not want your smartphone recording you orally or visually, we don't judge here on TechSpert, don't worry. There is a way of completely disabling your camera and the microphone as well for all apps. You'll find the camera access and mic access hidden away here in the notifications bar. You will have to actually drag them onto your main toolbar though, otherwise they won't appear. And then if you drag down that notifications bar, you will find the camera access and the mic access right there. Give those a tap and none of your apps will be able to use them. So for instance, try loading up the camera app. It'll say unblock device camera. And then if you decide that's all good, just hit unblock and away you go. And you'll also find that these options tucked away in the privacy settings as well, right there, camera access and microphone access. And the privacy dashboard is definitely worth a squint as well because it gives you a look at exactly what has been accessing some of your more sensitive data, like your location, accessing that camera and the mic, as well as all of your other vitals. But one of my favorite features tucked away in Android 12 is definitely the all new security hub. This will let you know instantly at a quick glance if there are any possible holes in your security 
defense. So this is just a personal example right here. As a bit of a tech nerd who ends up signing into several devices a week uh, with their Google account, this can tell you exactly what you're currently signing into, how long it's been since you've used that device, and then you can remove the buggers with a quick tap uh, like so. It still takes me bloody ages, but we get there in the end. Fast access to lots of other great security features, including two-step verification. Highly recommend turning that on for your Google account. Now, gamers rejoice because Android finally has a baked-in gaming mode, and you'll be able to access this by going to apps, scrolling down, and you'll see the games settings menu there. And that's where you'll find the fresh new game dashboard feature. With that enabled, Android will magically know whenever you're playing a game, and you'll notice this little drag out arrow icon here. Just give that a little tug, and the game dashboard icon will pop up on screen. Give that a little tappy tap, and you'll be able to customize the game dashboard icons. You'll be able to activate a whole bunch of features. So now when you drag out the game dashboard, as you can see there, you've got your current frame rate on there. You can quickly take a screenshot, start recording the action as well. And you've also got the ability to stream your mad skills direct to YouTube. So certainly right now at the Pixel 6's launch, it's far from the most comprehensive gaming setup ever, that's for sure. Nothing compared with the likes of the Sony Effort or the Xiaomi. But it is hoping with subsequent updates that gets boosted with all kinds of great features to really make it a true alternative. Now Google's fresh new Tensor chipset, which is packed inside of the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro, adds all kinds of great new functionality, including fantastic text-to-speech and speech-to-text shenanigans. And one of the best uses of this is undoubtedly the dictation feature, which allows you to do exactly what you'd expect, dictate your messages instead of having to piddle about typing them out. One way you can activate this is just by tapping the little mic button here on the Gboard, and then everything that you say using your mouth will then instantly appear right there on the screen. Alternatively, you can just say, hey, type. Dictation is once again enabled, and it's really, really clever stuff compared with similar dictation efforts on other smartphones, or so for instance, punctuation is automatically added and it's really, really accurate. You've also got full support for emojis now if you want to chuck a few of those in. And another great feature that I love here on Pixel 6 smartphones is the live translate. Now, obviously, if you usually go to a foreign website that's all in complete gibberish, what is all of this? I don't understand. Well, you've obviously got the normal uh, English translation option that just pops up like so. But say you're actually in a foreign country and you go to a restaurant and the menu is all, again, in the native language, you don't have a bloody clue what anything is. Well, no bother at all. Just open up your Pixel 6's camera app and go to the Google Lens feature and then tap translate and then just point it at whatever foreign speak is causing you consternation. This will then instantly be translated right there on the screen for your viewing pleasure. And that's just one of several pretty tidy new camera features packed away inside of the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. Take, for instance, this random little icon tucked away in the top right corner that's very easily missed. If you give that a tap, you've got the option of not saving to your photo gallery as usual, but instead a special private locked folder. Definitely handy if you want to take some more um, sensitive photos. But one of my favorites is definitely the Magic Eraser, which works absolute miracles. Frankly, what you need to do is go to Edit once you've got your photo. Then you'll want to scroll along to Tools and you'll find the Magic Eraser in there. And with this tool, you can basically highlight anything in the background that you want to get rid of. Just give it a good old smear. And then once that's done, they will be removed from the photo entirely. And quite often it actually automatically picks out any background crud, any random little stragglers that you might want to ditch. And then you can just tap erase all and off they go. And yes, it's not always a, uh, a perfect result. Sometimes you do get a little bit of distortion and stuff where the people were once stud, but more often than not, really impressive results indeed. And last up for this Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro tips and tricks guide, I just want to give a shout out to some of the battery features. Specifically, if you dive into the battery settings, you can go to Adaptive Preferences. It's got that adaptive battery feature, which is fantastic and help to extend your battery life by basically learning your usage habits, what kind of apps you use, what time of day you use them, make sure they're ready to go, whereas apps you rarely use are always cold in the background. And I'm also liking the adaptive charging feature as well, which again, it just sort of figures out when you usually plug your phone in, when you usually take it off charge as well. Make sure it just trickle charges up to full capacity just before you leap out of bed full of energy and vigor in the morning. And that should just help to prevent long-term damage. With the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro, you've also got the battery share feature as well, which basically allows you to reverse wireless charge any of your uh, accessories or any other smartphones that support wireless charging. Definitely best used just for accessories like the Pixel Buds and other uh, true wireless earbuds that support that Qi 
wireless charging though if you try charging a whole other phone uh, using the pixel 6 smartphones it'll take bloody ages so right there's my full pixel 6 and pixel 6 pro tips and tricks guide just some of the features that i really enjoyed on these fresh new google blowers but definitely if you've been using the pixel 6 the pixel 6 pro it'd be great to hear how you're getting on in the comments below and if you've got any little tips and tricks of your own definitely feel free to share it with the spurt and army and for more of the latest greatest tech please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell and have yourselves a fantastic rest of the week cheers everyone love you